right, let's talk about the bad. We gave you some good. Let's talk about the bad. You want to lead us off with one? Big Ben. Yo, me too. <laughs> St- Steelers, more Big Ben, but Steelers also. Yeah, like, it, if I had to slice it, it's probably like 80% Ben, 20% Steelers. I'm more like 70, 30? 60, 40. What, is it just all offensive line? Yeah, bro. It's yeah. rough, man. Yo, Najee Harris, by statistic, is getting hit behind the line of scrimmage, like, more than he's not. Yeah, it's it's close to 70% of the time he's getting hit behind the line of scrimmage. It's terrible. Talk to me about Ben. Uh, they have a minus 26-point differential through their first four games. That's the worst since 2013. Um, the Steelers are one in three. Hold on, worse for them since 2013. Oh wow! Which I mean, you know, they're a good franchise. So. Yeah, no, nah, I mean they've, yeah, you know, they've never been under 500 with Mike Tomlin. That's been the thing that everyone's been catering to. Yeah. Uh, I have an interesting number, a stat of the day, it aligns with this take. One is the stat of the day. One is the number. It's the number of times the Steelers have gone over 100 yards rushing in their last 16 games, playoffs included. They're 8-8 eight and eight in those games. You can't run the ball. Ben can't throw the ball down the field at all. Everything is like less than 10 yards. I mean, he threw the one pass to Deontay Johnson, which was like the only big play that they had last week, or yesterday, last night, yeah. rather. And that was that was to start the game, too. It's like, yo, Deontay. I played Deontay in afternoon only on DraftKings. I'm like, yo, let's go. Ben is back. Quiet. No. <laughs> um, yeah, he th- that touchdown, 45-yard touchdown pass, right? They, you know, they that's the first time that they scored on an opening drive in 13 weeks. I mean, it's a very, like, un Pittsburgh like. I mean, the rushing yards is like, yeah. you know, th- that's very telling. But then it's like you're not scoring on opening drives. That's tough. Average completion is 9.5 yards. It's the same as last year. I just, it's, I'm not excited at all. But just the last thing that I'll say before you take over is, the next four out of their next five games are at Heinz Field. They have to go at least three and two or else the season's over. So they're one and three right now. And their next four of their next five are home games. Mm-hmm. Three of them are against teams that didn't make the playoffs last year. Anything less than three and two. Your season's done. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's weird, man, because I was talking about this with Allen on the last show. And it's it's something I kind of put together the last couple of years of the fall off a cliff guy, right? Yeah, yeah. We've been talking about that. And, I mean, Ben has surpassed all the boxes. Yo, and it drives me crazy when I see two things in football. What? Jet sweeps. Why? Especially when it's the tight ends because the Giants oh, yeah, do that no. with Evan Ingram often. <laughs> no, I don't do but that. But even like jet sweeps in general, I'm not a fan of them. Just... Once a game, I'm cool with. But if you do it more than once, fireable offense. Yeah, it's just a it's a it's a very collegey play, right? And it just doesn't. It, I like the fake jet sweeps and stuff like that. I don't mind the fakes. I don't mind the fakes. You know, establish the fakes. I'm in. But multiple jet sweeps, I'm like, yo, I am so checked out. Yeah. There's that, and there's third and twelves, third and sixteens, fourth and nines. Well, that's the just backward lateral to my running back. Those, maybe because I was scarred because the last like four years of Eli Manning, the entire Giants offense was slant to Odell or check down to Evan Ingram or to Saquon Barkley. Yeah. I mean, I don't understand. It's fourth and four. This is like multiple weeks over the past This is back-to-back weeks. He did it. Big Ben did it against the Bengals on fourth and ten. And then... Against the Packers on like a fourth and five, fourth and six, where Najee Harris caught it behind the line of scrimmage. It's like, dude, what are we doing, yo? Yeah. Everybody, I was texting Danny, or I got Danny, who's a big Steeler fan. He wrote, yo, everybody and their mother knew that he was going to check the ball down there. And you saw when, when Najee Harris caught the ball, three Packers around them. It's like, what are we doing? No splash plays. He can't get the ball down the field. And you can't blame the weapons. Because, yeah, I know uh, Claypool was out yesterday. No, I don't blame the weapons. No, but, but he has weapons. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, that's yes, what I'm saying. Yes. You can't say, oh, he don't got weapons, right? It's No, you, you, got, you got weapons, dude. It's the O-line and the quarterback. And what's frustrating and what's unfortunate is, like, 
what are you going to do? Your offense is kind of built around four-yard you know, curl routes and slants in a way. Deontay Johnson is kind of like a you know, run-after-the-catch guy. Juju is, is, makes, his, makes a living under 10 yards. That's kind of what the, you know, they built the offense around Big Ben's limited arm in a way, right? And so now you're like, now you're stuck. Because, like, what are you going to do? What do you do? It's not working. And you what, don't really have much you, else. What can you possibly do if you're Pittsburgh? Trade for Jimmy Garoppolo. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> not the name I had in mind, but. <laughs> what, what did you have in mind? I was thinking, like, Drew Locke. Cam, sign Cam, but does Cam, Cam learn would the, be amazing. Does Cam learn the playbook in time? It don't matter. It's anything's better than this. Yeah, it's it's bad. It's bad, man. And it's a shame too, because I feel for Najee Harris, look, there's one of the big polarizing talking points on social media is always do you draft a running back in the first round? Do you pay a running back? I'm not in the camp of either, right? However, it is not a Najee Harris problem. At all. Dude is a beast. It's hard when you get hit in the in the backfield every single time you touch the ball. Yeah. And when the entire deep yo, you know against <laughs> against the Bengals, he had 19 targets. Yeah, I remember that. And you know what's funny? Nick's making me laugh, and I feel bad to laugh. I kind of feel bad for Najee Harris. Yeah. At Alabama, he is running through, you know, no first no, round picks. <laughs> no, Noah was parting the seas. Yeah. He's uh was that Noah? Not Noah, Noah was the Ark. Uh Moses? Moses, yeah. Moses was parting the sea, Alabama offensive line. <laughs> All first round picks on Bama, first round quarterback, first round wide receiver. It's like, yo, dude never face them. It's like, what's this? <laughs> yeah, now he goes to Pittsburgh, he's like, yo, there's seven people here. What is happening? This is not the NFL <laughs> that I thought I was signing up for. Yo, that's a I good point. I bet you if Najee Harris could have gone back to school, he would have. <laughs> yeah. It's so sad to say, man. Man, dude is getting beat up. Getting and the worst up. part about Ben, too, is just like what, you, what, what, what Ben made his money on was like, you know, Ben was mobile. He was, for his size. Pocket awareness and mobility, he was A1. Like, he was known for. <laughs> it's the complete opposite. He's in the pocket. You know, shimmy guys Shaking off. Shaking guys off, rolling out. Yeah, yeah. Now it's just... Now it's dude just, like just a, collapsing on his own. <laughs> it's just a... D- it's a it's dump like off. a big sign. Sack me. Yo. I can't do anything. It's sad. It's very sad. And they don't have a good Yeah, because backup. also, like, yo, Duke can get hurt, too. Yeah. And, and, and what's your backup plan? Is it Haskins? It's Haskins. It's... Is Duck Hodges still there? I know Haskins. I think it's uh, Mason, Mason Rudolph. Mason Rudolph. The helmet. It's tough. I, I feel the like helmet. I, <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? He got yeah, cracked. Scary. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. The Steelers, it's uh I had the same one. That's why we spent a little bit of time on this one. But it's it's not a good time if you're in Pittsburgh. Yeah. I mean look, Mike Tomlin, we say we've said this th- I think Mike Tomlin being there is like one of the reasons why we kind of almost assumed like the worst that they've gone is eight and eight. Yeah. Like like everything could like everything is pointing at them being terrible and somehow they pull out eight and eight. Well also what happened was week one. Yeah. They went well, they into w- Buffalo. It was preseason, you mean. Right. But yeah. they went into Buffalo. I was on that because of public perception. Steelers are gonna be asked, Bills are going to the Super Bowl. Line was inflated, loved the spot that the Steelers were in. Then you lose to the Raiders the way you did, who played on Monday night in overtime, coming East Coast. Lose to the Bengals, a team you've been stepping on for the last two decades. And then you lose the way you did yesterday, too. Just not competitive, bro. Yeah. My dad texts me. He's like, yo, the Packers were minus six. What are we doing? <laughs> like, what are we doing? Like, there's there's some games that are just layups. And, like, what are we doing? Oh, what? It's yeah. right there sometimes, right? The problem with the Steelers is also, like, they're not – making improvements on the like on the mistakes you know what i mean it's it's not like they're identifying an issue and they're like okay we can improve here it's almost as if they're just repeating the same mistake like like the fourth down check down to me is just like okay you made the same you made the mistake once right don't do it again don't do it you literally did the same exact thing yeah to me that's very alarming in a way it's like I like I say that about life in a way. I really kind of this is like a life comparison. It's like I I actually tell people all the time. I actually learn from my mistakes. Like experience is the best teacher in my opinion. Like the way to learn is to make a mistake. Fuck up. Don't do it again. There's nothing wrong with that. Right. 
But when you continually make the same mistake over and over again, that's like a red flag. So that's kind of like the way I think about the Steelers at the, at the moment. It's like they're making the same mistakes over and over again. And by the way, if they didn't fucking beat the Bills, you know, and I, I call it the preseason week four. They're 0-4. They're 0-4. Yeah. Once is an accident, twice is a trend, three times is a problem.